All right. section it and go down through that one I want to see both those holes inside you. That's called an aligned section. So it would take the holes and so it make it so I can see both of them going through the part. So for that I'm just going to go to a section, pick up my view, get my little tracking thing, go down over. Kind of like we did with the, the offset section. see it. If I told it aligned, now look what it's doing. So now it's pretending like I'm cutting, it kind of revolves around and puts it on the bottom. So I can say okay. So that's that section. So that's an aligned section. So for cylinder parts, we've got things at different angles, like practice 14. It's a good way to do it. <clears throat> I'll say I just want to do a, a breakout section right there. I want to leave this being the outside, but I want to do a breakout section here so I can see that hole is solid lines. What I need to do then is I need to pick on the view and go to create sketch. And what I'm going to do now is sketch where I want my break line, break line to be. So I'm just going to do a spline. Just do something like that. You want to make sure you get a couple curves in here. Finish the sketch. Break out. Pick the view. See it? Pick that closed profile. If, that, if you don't make that closed, it's not going to work. Or if you have the background clicked or a different view clicked when you hit create sketch, it won't work. You have to make sure you pick that view. So when you're sketching, you're sketching on that view. <clears throat> now it asks for depth. So how far depth back do I want to section? Do I have anything that's halfway through that hole? No? I do. do I have anything that's halfway back up through that hole? Aren't these lines halfway? Yeah, so I'll just pick on that line. <clears throat> then I'll say OK. So now I've got a broken out section right there. And it automatically puts the. Yep, I told it to cut at that line. So now I just cut it right there and made it, made it a broken out section. That makes sense? wanting to, to blow a piece up to make it bigger to show a detail and go to detail click on the view and I'm just going to click and draw out a circle and then I can bring it where I want it right here in this box I can tell it what skill I want the detail to be so how much bigger do I want it to be um, do I want it to show a, a broken contour for the edges on the, the new view or a round contour. So that was the broken edges. Here I can go back and change that, that label.
so with the, with the detail, you definitely want to keep all of that. You want to keep the, the label name and the scale factor, so they know what scale that, that view is. And the last one today is this crop. So if you only want to show part of a view, so let's say I only want to show this top part here, because the bottom part really doesn't do anything. You want to do something else there, or do another thing. I can say crop, the view, people want to crop out of it, and there it goes. So I just cut off that view. Um, we do this a lot in sheet metal stuff. Um, That we might have, I don't know, notch, something like that. And the same on all the corners. Instead of drawing the whole thing, you might kind of draw the whole thing kind of for the flat pattern. But then you might have a section where you just want to do. Just that piece, you know, do another thing or something like that. Um, here it doesn't put it in. If you're doing it by hand, you would. Um, yeah, or if you've got you, your front view shows a lot, but then your side view, you just want to show a little bit. You do the side view and then crop down to that piece, kind of like this. Um, just so you can hide that thing so that you don't have the confusion of everything else. Um, you can also break the alignment of it. Look what happened when I did a break, when I broke the alignment. It made it a view. It's kind of like a section, but it's outside the part now. You don't really want to do this unless you have to move it out of, out of the way to, to make room for something else. And on this one, it's at the same scale. I don't need it to tell me the scale here. So I'll just delete that bottom line where it's the scale. And I can re rename it here. So I can do that. So that's only in rare cases where you can't keep it lined up. Then you can break it. where you actually want to turn the view. You don't want it to be this way in your drawing. You want it to be this way for some reason. What you can do is you can right click on the view. You go to rotate. And then the easiest way is just using this, this edge. So if you pick an edge that you want to be, like if I pick this edge and it's horizontal. Now you can tell which way to flip it. Or if you have an edge that you know you want it to be vertical, you can pick vertical and then pick that edge and it'll turn it that way. <clears throat> so if you have some of these things at angles that you want to turn a certain way, as long as you have one thing that you know needs to be horizontal or vertical, you can click on it and it'll rotate it. You can also rotate it with an absolute angle relative to how it was drawn or a relative angle compared to how it is now. So that's kind of the extra little things for today. So any questions? No questions?